one of the other safety nets that you mentioned safety nets one of the I mean the UNRWA and the United Nations is not the only one there are other NGOs working and one of them as we've heard is the NRC and Sarah Adamsik ha hello again what can you hear me yes yes hello. excellent excellent uh, can you tell us about what you guys are doing and how you are helping in this dire situation um, yeah, so I can start, so the NRC program in Gaza basically started post-cast led and at this point our three program areas of response are in the areas of shelter coordination. So NRC is the, is the chair of the shelter sector in Gaza and much of the information we have on um, housing destroyed, damaged during cast led since then and in November comes from the information sharing with the shelter cluster. Um, mm. We also have an education program that works closely uh, with UNRWA schools and also other schools in Gaza and teacher training. Um, and then as you mentioned at the start, I'm the project manager for the information and counseling and legal assistance program, focusing on home, uh, ownership documentation so many people can qualify for reconstruction grants. And, and do, you, do you find that you can uh, move quicker? Can you, are you more nimble than a large United Nations uh, agency? Um, I mean, our programs are unique in that we're not, you know, there's not large-scale distribution. They're very much service-oriented through the legal assistance, through the actual training of, of, um, of teachers. So I don't know that I could compare it to anything on the scale that UNRWA is able to um, to distribute and to implement on that level. Mm. Okay, um, we mentioned that there was uh, a, a large uh, escalation, the pillar of defense uh, operation, which caused quite a bit of displacement. Can you describe for us the patterns of displacement during and after that escalation? Yeah, to, to start with the pa um, looking at the patterns, we can look at what we know and are able to measure. And as I said, most of that comes from information shared with the NRC uh, NRC-led shelter sector. Um, so in terms of what happened during the conflict, basically on the 20th of November, the night before the ceasefire, um, so seven days into the, into the conflict and seven days after um, the military leader of Hamas was killed, leaflets were dropped in neighborhoods in Gaza, largely in um, kind of access-restricted areas near the security fence with Gaza, urging residents to leave the, um, their, their neighborhoods. It was at this time that the first UNRWA schools were open to receive residents seeking shelter, um, and 14 schools were opened at that time in Gaza City, North Gaza, for over 1,700 families. What's interesting to note there is that almost immediately after the ceasefire was announced on the 21st and went into effect um, at midnight, um, within, basically within the next day, nearly everyone who had got, sought shelter at the UNRWA schools did return home or did return to host communities. So this is, this is what we are able to track during. In terms of longer term displacement and what happened after, um, this again is through shelter sector information and we know that 184 homes were totally destroyed, 198 suffered major damage and another 8,000 minor damage. Um, of these, all, all families are currently either living with relatives, host families, or rental accommodation. So as Simone said at the start, we don't see you know, tent communities developing in Gaza in response to displacement. It's, it's much more hidden. What both of these figures also um, do, don't kind of encompass and what's really difficult for us to measure is more hidden displacement. For example, families who left um, and sought shelter with relatives, either coming from a high-risk area that was receiving quite a number of airstrikes to what they perceived as a safer area, and um, this, ha this we know happened almost immediately um, after the conflict started in November, but it's really difficult for us to measure that or to measure people who've been displaced for reasons other than their homes being destroyed or damaged. Mm. Okay.